All right, so today's uh, video should be pretty short. Um, we're gonna deal with um, when we're given our volume, right? So our last video on Monday was about finding the volume. So now we're gonna kind of talk about working backwards. So when you're given your volume, you wanna be able to find either your length, your height, your width, um, or when we get down to spheres, your radius. Um, so this may be a little bit more difficult um, just cause it's not so much um, plug it into a formula and find it. Um, I mean, it is, but you got to do some more steps before you just punch it into your calculator. So um, let's get started. So you're either only going to have to do this really with um, the volume of a pyramid or a sphere. Um, so once you get the steps down and practice some, um, you should be golden. So let's look. So first, um, let's review what our volume of a pyramid is. All right. So volume, we have volume equals one third, the length of our base times the width of our base times the height of our pyramid. Okay, so those are the three main pieces that make up our volume. So um, this question says, find the height of the pyramid given the volume of the pyramid is 224 inches cubed. All right, so they give us our volume and we have to um, find the height. All right, so they give us our V, we have to find our H. Okay, so let's plug in what's given. So we're given our volume. Let's write this down here. Volume equals one third times width times height. Oh, I forgot my length. One third length times width times height. Okay, so we're given our volume 224. Um, our one third stays one third. Our length, let's call 12 our length, right? Doesn't matter which one you call your length or width and eight is our width times this height that we want to find right and so um we have to get rid of all of this stuff in order to get h by itself so all of this is being multiplied right it's being multiplied here multiplied here multiplied here so if we're solving for h just like if it was an x we would have to try to cancel out um we'd have to try to cancel out these three pieces. So how do you cancel out multiplication? By division. Divide by one third times 12 times eight. And whenever you do one side, you gotta do the other. So divided by one third times 12 times eight. Um, and that gets us to H equals 224 divided by, make sure it's helpful if you put this part in parentheses, one third times 12, times eight. And if you plug that into your calculator, you get 7.000 approximately. So our height is about seven, check our units, inches, inches, about seven inches. All right, so all we had to do is try to cancel this stuff out to get H by itself. And so we're gonna apply the same idea of getting that variable that we wanna solve for by itself in this next example. So let's look at this example. Now we're given, um, find the radius, right? So up here we found our height. So now we wanna find our radius, whatever that radius is. Um, given that this sphere has a volume, a very specific volume of 1,436.76 inches cubed. Um, and it says round our answer to the nearest hundredth. Right, so we'll see how that works at the end. Um, okay, so we've got our sphere equation, let's recall. So we got through four thirds times pi times r cubed, which is our radius, right? So this is gonna help us because it connects our volume to our radius, right? So it connects something we're given to something we want to find. All right, so let's um, get into this, get our equation back up there. Okay, so um, we want to connect our volume, All right? So volume equals four thirds times pi times r cubed. Um, okay, we're given our volume. So we plug in our volume 1436.76 and that's equal to four thirds times pi times our radius cubed. So we have got to get rid of this four thirds and this pi 
in order to get r to the third by itself. So just like in the previous example, um, we're going to divide divide by that 4 thirds pi. Whatever you do to one side, got to do to the other. Divide by 4 thirds times pi. Um, and that gets us that r cubed is equal to 14,336.76 divided by 4 thirds times pi. Um, and when you get there, you get what? You get approximately 434.01. Let's add a page. Sorry for that. Um, okay, let's go back up. So you get about four, um, you get R equals, R cubed equals 343.01. And from here, because we still got to get R by itself, right? Now it's got this to the third up here. So we got to get rid of that to the third. And the way you get rid of that to the third, this is, um, I don't necessarily think new, but um, you raise both sides to the one third. That cancels that out. Then you raise that to the one third, right? So we're trying to get rid of that. So R is equal to 343.01 to the power of one third. And when you go ahead and type this in your calculator, make sure you put this exponent, right? Always put your um, fractions in parentheses. And so when you do that and you punch it in your calculator, you get R equals 7.0004-ish. Um, and that gets you R is approximately seven. Um, if we wanted to round it to the hundredth, like it said, 0 0.00. So that's finding our radius. So um, both of these two examples that we talked through right up here, we solved for H and our goal was to get H by itself, right? So when our goal, whatever our goal to solve for right here was height, our goal was to get H by itself. Down here, we were asked to solve for our radius. So our goal was to get R by itself. Um, this is a very important skill you work on a lot um, when we return in the fall in Algebra 2. Um, and it's very um, important that you um, work on these, especially for SAT. Um, the SAT loves these type of problems um, where they're like, here's the volume, here's your equation, plug it in, solve for a random variable. Um, and so you've got to be able to work backwards to get something by itself. So make sure you go ahead and take um, a peek at the practice problems and you try to work through them. If you're struggling on them, make sure you come back and rewatch um, the video, right? There's only two questions. Each one's very similar to one we just did in this video. So make sure if you're struggling, come back, pause it as you work through it, um, or shoot me an email. Hope you guys have a good week. Um, and we're almost done. Keep it up.